Hi, in this video I will show you a different uh, type of uh, thermo sensors for uh, Seiko uh, boilers and uh, how to recognize what uh, sensor is for your machine exactly. So first, if you look, they uh, all sensors look the same. But uh, there is a difference between them. As example, if you can see here, some of the sensors have a button, plastic button in the middle. So these type of sensors are uh, guarding the machine to not overheat. Uh, and if your machine have uh, on the boiler, as you can see here, most new machine have the J boiler with the two sensors. So the old machine have uh, this button in the middle. The new machine don't have uh, this button, and when this uh, when the boiler overheat, your sensor shut down the electricity and uh, if you want to uh, restart your uh, machine you have to replace your uh, sensors because they work once and they don't have this button and you cannot restart the the sensors so if your sensors are like this here you have to buy a new one so you can buy uh, uh, this type of sensors with uh, restart button but you have to know that there is as you can see here there is uh, two type of uh, connectors as you can see the small one and the big one so the, the big one is six millimeters connector and the small one is is five millimeters so this is the first difference between the the connect the the safety uh, sensors the other thing is when you look on the side of the sensors there are uh, a lot of numbers and if you can see here is L175 this means that this sensor will uh, work will stop electricity when uh, the boiler reach 175 degrees so there is other sensors like this one is L190 degrees so if your machine it doesn't matter if it has the button or not and you want to replace the the sensor you have to read here if it says L190 you have to find 190 because if you put 175 your machine uh, make not work it will confuse the electronic and so on so if you cannot find this type of uh, connectors uh, sorry not connectors and um, sensors you can use let me show you this is uh, the Wongi Magnifica and in the Wongi they use not this type of sensors they use someone uh, call this uh, thermofuse so if you can see it's the same if uh, this uh, boiler reach 192 degrees this will stop working and of course you have to replace it if it's burn you can make it work again so maybe this you can find and as you can see here on the 
Seco boilers. There is a place for them. Let me show you here. You can see here. And you only have to make some kind of uh, metal here and screw here. You can have one, two uh, thermofuse and they will work again in the same uh, same as this and uh, this is cheaper I think and you can find um, in many places but again you have to look for the 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 temperature and you have to replace it with the, the same temperature as you in your machine so this is for the uh, thermosensors for uh, Seiko boilers and this is for now bye